But one thing that you mentioned was in inequality, right? And obviously that is a, a, definitely a hot topic in the last couple of years, if not I'm sure some people have focused this on for, for their entire careers, right? And health equity is one of these uh, components or one of these one of these ideas that a lot of people have focused or concerns that people have kind of focused on is that this so-called idea of almost a postal code lottery, that it's, if you live in a certain place, you may get a certain type of care versus being in another place, uh, you may get a different type of care. Right. So, you know, given given that backdrop, what advice do you have from a budgeting perspective? Like, how could we budget it in the uh, like federal or provincial or whichever is more effective from from your perspective to kind of improve uh, the the health health equality amongst Canadians? Well, so I think it's going to be harder for the federal government to do that very well, because to be honest, the federal government doesn't have the levers um, to affect the health system as directly as it could or should. I mean, it's true that the federal government, you know, actually delivers a lot more health care than people realize. Uh, when you take together the prison system, its responsibility for First Nations and Indigenous peoples, uh, its role in, in the armed forces and, and veterans, Take that all together, the federal government's about the third or fourth largest health system in the country. Um, but that's a, those are very specific defined populations. And while it can focus on innovations and best practices that could be scaled and taken elsewhere, it's hard to take those, those best practices and, and put them into the Ontario healthcare system or the BC healthcare system. And so um, a lot of what the federal government can do is it can support um, the development of back-end infrastructure, things like, you know, our electronic medical record system, investments in standards around, say, interoperability of data um, uh, and information. Um, but really, its biggest, most bluntest instrument is just funding, right? And, and the challenge will be, does it attach or can it attach conditions to that funding that actually tries to direct the system in a certain, in a certain way? So, so the federal government's ability to affect um, health inequalities and health inequities is really going to be about whether it wishes to use the conditionality of its transfers to actually try to achieve things. It can continue to invest in back-end infrastructure. That's important. But the scalability of that really depends on the provinces, right? And a great example of that is, you know, we've been investing for years and years and years in, um, in things like electronic medical records. They're great. We have a great, we have a great back-end set of standards and technology. The challenge is that only now in the last round of um, healthcare financing agreements that the federal government signed, our province is now actually committing to implementing those things. That was because the federal government used its conditional powers to push that conversation in the last round. Ha if it doesn't do that, the change is not going to happen because we still have basically 13 different health systems on a standalone basis in this country. So if you want to solve for health inequities, you've got to think about the conditionality of your, your funding transfers. Perfect, perfect. And I'm glad you wrapped up on on that specific point, because I think that is something that people don't think about as as much as maybe they, they should or give as much credit they should is around the electronic medical systems, because in some ways, you need data to make judgments or to be able to inform you on what, how you should pursue different things. Mm -hmm. And without data, you can't even make those kind of type informed decisions. And at the basic area, you need to actually capture that data, right? And then you need electronic yeah. medical records. It's, just, it's crazy that we, it's only recently that we actually decided, hey, you know, we should do this. Yeah, no, so it thank isn't. I mean, it's, it's a classic Canadian problem. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, as classic as uh, us uh, losing every single year, it seems like, since 1993 in the Stanley Cup.